What's going on guys, it is Wild Strong and the issue here, one back to another Blackburn Rovers crew mode, it is episode 21, and after that absolute, absolute cracking goal last episode, it is your goal of the episode, featuring right at the start, so make sure you do vote for that in the comment section below during this episode, during these games actually, Wigan Athletic, Blackpool and Gillingham. And also as well, next episode, we will be featuring our very first New Zealand games as the boss of the Kiwis. But anyway, they are the three games I will be playing today. Three absolute cracking ones. And hopefully we can maintain our first league position after being 26 points clear at the top ahead of Scunthorpe. We are playing Wigan today, who are currently down in ninth place. Well, by the looks, we will be ground ourselves a win there, including uh, Gillingham, who we will be facing later on. But anyway, let's have a quick, do a quick training session, guys. I am trying to train Thrill at the moment because I want him to get really, really good. I want him to be absolutely perfect for the 2018 to 2019 season. And he is 71 rated already. One of the highest rated players in the team, which is brilliant. But anyway, before I get into our first game, make sure you do hit that like button. Of course, don't forget to subscribe for plenty more videos coming your way every single day. And on the weekend, I got something pretty good for you guys to give you guys some help during your career modes. So make sure you stay tuned for that on Saturday and, of course, Sunday as well. Videos going in. But anyway, let's jump in this game against Wigan. Maybe. Oh, lovely through ball now since there. We've already broken them open. Looking for the square back across. Like you see, Frill. Oh, it's cleared from the goalkeeper. Out to Richie Small. Oh, this has got to go in. It's out for a corner ball six minutes in. And it's an exhilarating start. Nice. Oh, Danny Graham wins it. Good defending, though. Can Danny Graham go for the shot? Oh, what a save by the goalkeeper. It's still 56 minutes in. It is like an hot, a hairdryer in a hot tub because this is electrifying so far, this game. Oh, nice. Nice is a mistake. Coming through. I can see the through ball. It's Bradley Dag with the goal. Come on. Yes, Daggy boy. There it is. Finally broken the deadlock after 85 minutes. It's been an absolute exhilarating game. And finally, someone has put the drill on to finally put the screw into the goal. There it is. With a little win there. Danny Graham there winning the ball. Overlap run from Bradley Dack. And he usually slots out in 85th minute. This happened in the previous game. But we're going to get in it. But this time... Blackburn get it. Looks like the final whistle is going to blow any moment now, and it does. There it is. We beat them Wigan 1-0. Getting our revenge after the first game where we lost to them 1-0 with their 85th minute goal. But today, we have done the exact same. We have a great goal from Bradley Dack once again getting on that score sheet. Surely he's close to our top goal scorer now. But anyway, let's have a quick look at the league stats and of course the top goal scorer and everything. Okay, that puts us on 90 points for the season, which is absolutely insane. Almost 30 points clear of Bristol Rovers. Just incredible. We could be pushing now 100 point mark for the season. Let's have a look at top goal scorers. And we have got Burton still up there with 12. Danny Graham's up there with 10. Bradley Dack's up there with 10 now, which is huge. 22 assists, 9 for Bennett, and then 7 for Edwards. And clean sheets, never clean sheet to write the David Reyes name. The ball are kicking off all the time. We're not meeting tires, we're not meeting tires, we're not meeting tires because our rating is going down, down, down. But we got a youth squad report. We have this guy, potential's going down, not looking good at we'll all. We'll be giving. Jack Doyle a run around, but I'm also going to be giving uh, Joe Nutt all a game. Nelson's going to be dropped due to tiredness, um, which means we are going to be giving Edwards, wherever he may be, another run around. And then we are also going to be bringing into the team, if I'm No, we're not. We're not going to be making any more changes. I'm going to put Downing on the. Uh, Gomez on the bench, but that's the team that I will be going out with for the Blackpool game. And then what we're going to do as well in the next next game, after the next game, we will be sorting out our New Zealand team. 
ready for our episode this week. But anyway, guys, jumping this game against Blackpool, can we replicate how we did last on Tuesday? Nice. Oh, we squid that across. Edwards is there. We won the lap. It's a has great start. 22 minutes in. And it's looking more and more likely we're going to win the league today. 10 games in hand. Can you believe it? Frill. Oh, Frill. Frill. Can he not spill this right now? He looks like he's can't. Oh, he's tried to lob there. What the hell was that? Tried to lob it. Oh, yes, Cadiz. Cadiz is on it. Cadiz is on it. I can see you coming in backstage. Bradley Dak. Oh, he was up like a friggin' salmon. But didn't score. Oh, we've lost the ball. It's still 1-0. 90, 90 minutes gone. There it is. We've won. We've won the game. The result has finished. But we do not win the league today. It goes because of the results around the other ground. This game's in hand. We're Scunthorpe. They potentially still beat us, which will not happen, we know. Joe Nuttall there with an 8.6. So, quick look at the results. Scunthorpe winning 2-1. Beating Wigan Athletic, which is huge. But if we win our next game, potentially we could win. If Scunthorpe lose, we win the league. Oh, it's close. Can we win the league? This episode is absolutely massive. Absolutely massive right now. But we do have an easier game where we are playing Jelena, which is our last game of this episode. And um, so far, it's been absolutely brilliant. Squad submissions, well, we've got to focus on that. Joe Nettle's very happy that he's been selected. He's playing very well at the moment. No goals, though, um, unfortunately. Anyway, just before I jump on into this next game, we do have a few players leaving on international duty. And we do have a report from our Spanish scout. Let's have a look. Oh, we got a good player. 15 years old, 89 potential. We're going to sign. We got another one here. We're going to reject this guy. Only 82, 94 potential. Looking pretty solid so far. Currently 27 points in front. 27 points left. So if we win our next game, we could potentially win the league. Because we will be 27 points clear with only 24 points available. Let's scenario, find out. A dramatic scenario. Win the game, win the league. Should be quite a match. And it's live. Yes, Samuel. Going for the shot. Oh, good save from the goalkeeper. Bradley Dad would have been with another assist there. Oh, we've been turned. Good save by Rea. 40 minutes in, and we've been all over it. Half time. Samuel coming right on the peak of half time. There it is. We are on the brink of winning the league. Eight games in hand. It's absolutely unbelievable. 45 minutes in. Yeah, he's on our side. And Samuel, who hasn't started in a while, gets the goal that we need. Harry Chapman. Samuel set himself up there to make it 1-0. Nice. Oh, what a football. Oh, hit it again. Oh, what a save by the goalkeeper. Almost putting the nail in the coffin there. To dead and bury chilling them into League Two and almost winning our title, but it doesn't happen. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Oh yes, get rid. There we go. Yes, I think we've won it. We've won the league. Yes, yes, we've won the league. Come on, yes, boys. Yes, I thought he was going to make it 2-0 as I went on the attack there. But we beat Gillingham, and all we had to do was win the game with our Samuel goal at halftime. Bag ourselves the league title, promotion to the championship after 37 games. Absolutely, at 38 games even, absolutely incredible. It's not showing the lifting the trophy or anything, but... Anyway, we are promoted. Come on. Come on. That's how quick look at these league stats. Where is Scunthorpe? Doesn't matter the result they won, but it doesn't matter what the result actually was. We're now going into international duty, right? So, there is a total of eight games left. A total of 24 points available. 
and we are currently 28 points clear. Even if Scunthorpe win the game in hand, we still win the league. Absolutely incredible scenes. Absolutely incredible scenes. We've won the league title, which is huge for us. But what does that mean now for the career mode? I'm going to let you guys vote in that comment section below. Because this is massive. This is absolutely massive. Win the league title. We've already done it, mate. We've already done it. Batman Rovers secure the EFL League One title. News everywhere. Any more stories? Blackburn re continue their winning ways. It is all about Blackburn other than, other than that one player. But here it is. Confirmation, just so you know, of us winning the league. Dragon DSG and Mulgrew. Oh, they absolutely brilliant. Blackburn Rovers have won the EFL title. It's been highly competitive and enjoyable for season for the fans. Definitely. Definitely there. But anyway, guys, of course, like I said, do we sim for the rest of the season? We have won the league. We've won promotion. But what do we do next? But anyway, guys, next episode will be the New Zealand one. Don't forget to hit that like button. Of course, subscribe for plenty more videos. And guess what? I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.